Check out the links in my description for more information, for more resources. Uh, check out the podcasts. Check out the Facebook groups. You know, just check out the links. There's a lot of great stuff there. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, share, like, dislike, you know, whatever you want to do. This is my black mask. Same um, blocker Zenkai deck. One copy of the leader. Four Dark Broly Heartless Berserker. Four Black Mass Saiyans. Assassin from the Darkness. Four Oceanus Shenron. Four Figure Majesty. Four Shenron Negative Energy Explosion. Four Lord Slug Giant uh, Ghost Warrior. Four Time Agent Vegeta. Four Time Agent Trunks. Four Gohan Hostile Saiyan Encounter. Four Magikayo the Shape Shifter. Four Supreme Kai of Time. Four Instant Transmission 10 times Command Mail. Four SS Gold Tanks Fusion of Friendship. Four Demon God Poutine, Demon God Gravy, uh, Unison, and one Golden Kula, a Radiant Pride. Well, he's the reason I made the deck. So, but there are some really, you know, good new toys to play with. But he's the reason I built, put this deck together because the idea is that I want to use the leader's ability to burst to get him to the drop and then grab him from the drop and add back to the hand with the leader's awakening. Of effect so that's the main thing there he has the ability to board wipe uh, as well as um do some other cool stuff but the main thing is his ability to board wipe plus he has a blocker let's go into the zenkai deck we got four majin Buu pure destroyer which is a blocker one drop blocker we got one cumber captive fighter one goku for the mission and one vegeta surmounting the impossible Let's back to the deck. The leader auto burst three when this card attacks, draw a card. So you mill three, draw a card. When you have four less life, you may choose up to two energy and switch to active mode and flip this card over so that comes in handy. The ability to untap energy in case you want to go into some type of combo or at least make sure you have two energy up for Oceanus. And then, of course, with the leader's ability to. Um, active main ability once per turn burst three cards and then you can choose up to one battle card with energy cost of three or more in your drop area and add it to your hand this card gets five 5k power for the duration of the turn so it'll be a 20k for your turn so you burst so you mill three cards on top of your deck and then you can just grab oceanus which is a really good target for this effect and that way you can use it to floodgate your opponent right as well as It'll be a blocker, so you have the potential to defend yourself. And you can also, you know, because if your opponent does attack, they'll end up milling four cards every time they attack. You could potentially uh, mill your opponent out uh, through this leader effect. Um, we have Lord Slug in the deck to help us recycle our cards. So that way we don't deck out from our, you know, bursting effects. So this is a way we can prevent ourselves from decking out. Because all we have to do is just add them back to our hand after we burst and then put cards back in the bottom of our deck. And that helps mitigate the bursting that we do to trigger the leader's um, effect. So, and it's the fact that you can, you know, obviously play him for free doing that. So, it's a free way to recycle your drop or recycle your deck so you don't mill yourself out. So that's the synergy there. But of course, we want to use this effect to grab our cooler and do some cool shit. We got Dark Broly, because uh, he's 30k over on 6, so he's a free 30k we can use to you know, surprise our opponent or to get some some extra damage in. And when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and send it to the warp, so it's good for getting rid of any problematic card your opponent might have. Then has the active main where you pay two energy, your leader cards back, play this card from your warp, so even if this card ends up in your warp, and it would be because you know realm six, you can always play it back for two. So that's always useful, especially if he ends up in your warp because of a, an opponent's card effect, or let's say you send it to the warp for your instant transmission ten times command mail effect and 
it's not a problem. You put them in the warp through this effect because you can always play them back. So there's synergy there. Black Mass Sane, he's, um, you know, has a couple useful effects, but the main thing I like to use him for is his active battle limit one. Pay one black if your um, leader is black, which it is. Play this card from your hand, and it's an active battle, so it means you can do it your opponent's turn. Then his auto, when this card is played, choose uh, one of these abilities. If if it's your um, if it's your turn, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, which it costs six or less, and send it to warp. So that could come in handy if you need to really get rid of something that's problematic on your opponent's side of the field. But typically you want to play this on your opponent's turn because you want the, if it's your opponent's turn effect, which is choose up to one of your cards and it gets 5k power for the turn. So basically, for one black energy, you can Senzu being your leader. That's essentially what I like to use them for, is to essentially Senzu being my leader. Um, so that way my leader, especially on the awakened side, can be can be the twenty K. So I can take advantage of that. Especially if you combine that with like Oceanus to make it harder for your opponents to do damage. Um, so then we got Oceanus obviously for the negating of the attack, the floodgate ability where your opponent if, if your opponent attacks the mill four cards, and the fact that it's a blocker. And you could play here for two energy on your opponent's turn. Children of Figure Majesty, so we can draw a card when, when we have five or more cards in our drop, which would be the hard because we burst. We have, uh, we draw a card and we can choose one of the three abilities. The main effects we use is to choose, um, well, the only effect we really use is to choose up to two of your energies and switch them to active mode. It's that way you always have energy up for your uh, negates, your Oceanus, especially if you're recycling your Oceanus with the leader's effect. You want to make sure you always have two energy up to play her, but you could choose one of your points, uh, one of your battle cards to cost less from your drop and bring it back. And the only real target for that would be Shenron. I mean, uh, Supreme Kai Tom. Then we have Shenron negative energy explosion because uh, we're going to use his ability to um, spirit boost, which is his active main slash battle ability. But we're really going to use it during battle. So we can remove one marker from one of our unisons in order to switch this card to active mode and then your opponent mills a card. So there's some milling elements to this deck. And then, you know, since we're back in active mode, we can obviously, since he's a barrier blocker, he can block more than once. So we can use him to block twice to keep our defenses up. And of course, with the leader's effect, we can always recycle him to always make sure he's on board blocking for us. Um, he has deflect and barrier, so that makes him really, really strong. And he's 20k uh, double strike, so we could use him as a finisher, of course. I mentioned Lord Slug, we're going to use him to recycle our black battle cards so that way we don't mill ourselves out through our burst effect. And then he has the active main where you can place this card into your drop from your battle area, of course. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost greater than or equal to your opponent's energy and send it to the warp. So this is another way of getting rid of any problematic battle cards. Time Agent Vegeta and Time Agent Trunks um, are cards you can play for free if you mill them through your leader's burst effect. Uh, Vegeta is a, um, Trunks is a blocker, so essentially a free blocker. We have the ability to take up to one life if you want, so you, you can help yourself awaken. Um, and then Vegeta has the effect that um, active battle, once per turn, pay two, choose up to one of your points, battle cards with energy cost three or less, and send it on warp. So it has the potential to be a reusable way of getting rid of a three cost or less. So, not a warping in this deck. We got the Gohan. This is a card that lets us, um, when this, uh, um, lets us warp, uh, send it from a warp to, uh, I mean, from our drop toward the warp in order to negate in the, in the, in the, so it has the limit one if your leader card is black or master teaching card. So in other words, if your leader is black and you have four less life, you can add one card from your life to your hand in order to place one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck. When your opponent attacks with a battle card, you may play this card from your drop or warp. 
uh, in rest mode and negate the attack. So that's what it was. Is you could play from the drop oil warp um, into your battle area in order to negate an attack. That has the permit that if it leaves the field, that it gets uh, removed from, from the game instead. So that way you can't just keep using the same copy over and over again. But it is a um, free way to negate an attack. So you can do it from the drop or warp. And then um, if your leader card for one black energy auto, if your leader card is black, when this card is added to your Z energy, choose up to one of your opponents battle card for range card four lessons, send it to the warp. So it has the potential to for one energy get rid of a four cost or less if you combo it and put it in your Z energy. Uh, Magic Kayo, barrier blocker with revenge. So this is a really good card to use to help you against anything that has block uh, barrier. So it helps you deal with any problematic battle card that has barrier. Um, and of course, there's a blocker, so it can block an attack. And the fact that it's barrier makes it harder to get rid of. And then, of course, since it's a three cost, you can always add it back with your leader's awaken effect. So you have a recyclable, a reusable way of getting rid of any problematic battle cards. Then, Supreme Kai of Time on the field acts like a, a super combo. Um, well, I mean, just when you combo or period, if you have five or less cards in your hand, um, she essentially becomes a super combo. You can combine it with uh, the unison, putin and, and great unison in order to give it an extra 5k. So it could be a 15k combo for free. So synergy that way. And then if your leader card is a black Saiyan card, which it is, when this card is milled, you can play it for free. So this is the reason why it'll typically be on the field when you want to use it. So you'll come with from the field. We have five or less cards. She'll become 10k. And then with Putin and Gravy, she'll become 15k. So the synergy there. And then instant transmission times times command. You can negate an attack and then place up to two black battle cards from your warp into your drop area. So this helps you recycle anything that might be in your warp. Um, especially if you overrun for Dark Broly, you'll put stuff back with this. And uh, the fact that, you know, this has the ability active main where you can pay one black energy, choose two cards from your hand, send it to the warp. Just, obviously, black battle cards would be a good idea for that. And then add this back to your hand so you can use it to negate an attack. So it's a reusable negate that also has, you know, works with burst decks that burst because you can always get it back from the drop. And then we got the go tanks, which has the effect that if it gets milled, you can play for free with one marker. Has the plus two active main ability, choose one card from your hand, discard it, and then this card gets 10k power for the turn. So it'd be a 15k. And of course, the minus four active main ability, this card gets 20k power and dual attack for the turn, so it'd be a 25k. They can attack twice. So you can take advantage of that. Uh, but the main thing is the fact that you can play for free and keep giving it plus two, so you can use it to spare boost for Shenron. Then we have, uh, of course, Putin and Gravy. That's the auto that if you have four or more car uh, markers on this card when you play it, your opponent chooses one card from the hand and sends it to the warp. So ideally, you want to play this with five or more markers to you know, try to get its effect off and then be able to use its uh, minus three ability to choose all of your opponent's battle cards and send them to warp so that we can take one card from the hand and clear the board at the same time. And then still at least have two markers left over, you play this for five. Or if you play this for three and then um, empower two, so take two markers off of your uh, gold tanks in order to you know, boost this up to five markers. Then it has the plus one active battle ability, which is nice. Up to one of your black battle cards in your combo area gets 5k combo power for the battle. This comes in handy in case you have to combo your Dark Broly. It doesn't have combo power, but this can give it 5k. So it comes in handy when you want to power up, you know, give combo power to your zero combo power 
on cards, but it could also turn pretty much anything else into a super combo with 10k power. So that's always good. And then we got the Golden Cooler, Radiant Pride. Finally, we have this bad boy. It's like Bandai always wants me to come back. It's like, here, here's something you want. I'm like, yes, yes, I do. I do want Golden Cooler. And I want, um, you know, Ignoring Barrier Board Wipe. You know, as well as I want something really cool. So this is a 40k double strike alternate blocker. No deflect, no barrier. I mean, it can gain barrier. Meh. I, I would prefer um, um, deflect. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, as they say. So, like I said, uh, it has the auto that when you play this card, choose all your points. Battle cards, ignore barrier, and send them to their owner's warp. When your opponent uh, chooses five cards, um, then your opponent chooses five cards from their hand and adds the rest to the Z energy, and this card gains a uh, barrier for the turn. So it does two things. It board wipes, right? And then it uh, reduces your opponent's hand size down to five. And I always say you, your goal is to get is to make sure your opponent has six uh, six cards or less because it makes it easier for you to you know be able to go for game, especially if your hand size is bigger. So this helps with that. So it's kind of cool how this is like a generic um, perfect force cell in a way. Or what's his name? The seven drop uh, Gogeta. So this has more wiping ability, plus has the ability to reduce your opponent's hand size down to five, which is always ideal when you're trying to go for game. Um, you can play for five energy, so it's a turn five play essentially, unless you ramp. But this deck, so we don't ramp energy, so it's essentially a turn five play when your opponent has four more energy. Pay five, play this, and then active main stacks battle ability. If this card is in, is in rest mode, and you place two of your opponent's Z energies into the owner's drop, switch this card to active mode. Um, obviously, he's a blocker, so after you drop him, clear the board, try to go for game, and let's say you don't win right there and then, all right, you can just use his um, ability to um, restand him um, by sending two of your opponent's Z energies, which you, of course, will your opponent will have some Z energy, at least two, obviously, from your auto, because your auto will at least potentially guarantee that your opponent has Z energy, and then you can use this ability to uh, restand them. It doesn't say, however, that this uh, effect is once per turn, or limit one, which is really nice, right? So, and it's activating slash battle, so you could do this, uh, restand this um, again and again and again. So. Pretty much, uh, every, uh, as long as your opponent has more than two cards, you can uh, restand them. So he's a 40k double strike. Again, like I said, your opponent has five cards in their hand, so the likelihood of one of your 40k double strike attacks going through is pretty high. Because your opponent's going to need, what, 35k combo power just to try to outcome with your, your attack, which would be like, what, five cards? Right? Like six cards? Yeah, six cards. Six cards, 30k. Yeah, he's gonna need more. He's gonna need like seven cards in order to try to out combo your attack or something shit like that. Because you're 40k. But anyway, point is the likelihood of you getting your attack to go through is pretty nice. Um, originally, I didn't know that he could potentially do his, you know, that attack more than once. I'm like, oh wait, you can restand him attack, restand him attack. It doesn't say once per turn. It's like I'm just looking at it now. Like, oh yes, it does seem like that's the idea. Giving your opponent Z energy so that we can restand an attack, restand an attack. So basically, he acts um, like what's his name. So pretty much, he's more like a Cell Zeno. So he's a board wiping Cell Zeno. And then, uh, I mean, if you think about it, he's better than Cell Zeno. Um, so it's a turn five Cell Zeno. That's pretty cool. Technically, Cell Zeno is a turn 5 um, Cell Zeno, right? But this is pretty much a generic Cell Zeno. So everybody gets a Cell Zeno. Because he's golden cooler. It's much cooler than Cell. Um, much cooler than Freezer, that's for sure. And then, of course, our Z deck consisting of four one drop blockers. Gotta keep our defenses up. We got Cumber, kept the fighter when this card is played, or attacks choose up to one of your points, but our cards with four or less.
and again server until end of turn. So this is a good way to you know keep one of your opponent's um, battle cards tapped down until you can you know try to get rid until you can you know, get rid of it because of the servant's effect of making that card not being able to restand. And of course he's a two drop so you can use them with a Shenron Trigger Majesty to keep triggering that effect of um because the fact that you can hit two cards, right? You play him, hit one of your opponent's four cards or less, and give a servant that's in rest mode ideally, right? And then attack to target another of your opponent's battle cards, four cards or less, and give a servant that's also in rest mode, so that way those two don't untap during your opponent's uh, charge phase. So so for one card, you can tap down two of your opponent's cards um, and take advantage of that. And then, of course, just try to get rid of them when you can, right? And then uh, we've got the Goku, mainly he's here as a cheap critical, right, that you can take advantage of. Um, he has the active main once per turn for every 7 black battle card in your war. This card gets 5k power for the turn, so could become a 20k crit. And the Vegeta, just so we can um, uh, cycle out a card from our hand in case we got a card in our hand we don't want. We could just cycle it out and get another card. This might come in handy. It's just a tech card. Nothing spicy or special. That's the end of the video.